friends, and welcome to another day of Q and A's. Joined by my lovely and helpful wife Lucy. Hi guys. Lucy will be asking me one of your questions from Instagram. So the next question is by a um, username that I would not even try to pronounce. Uh, Leo, are you fami familiar with ACAR? It seems to have all the positive effects of cardarine without the drawbacks, besides being expensive. Your channel is great. Keep going. Thank you, Lucy. Um, okay, so this is an interesting. I, I, I remember seeing the question, but I didn't know that he compared it to uh, cardarine, mm -hmm. which is probably a poor comparison. So cardarine works through the PPAR uh, mechanism. I, I, I don't I don't know if it's the beta PPR beta. There's a there's an alpha gamma and beta. I'm not sure. I don't remember which one it works through. But PP uh, but cardarine works through a very complex system that is affected by the same system that uh, ACAR works on, mm -hmm. but it's not the same system. So ACAR is a very interesting, I'm calling it ACAR, I don't know how you pronounce it. And you can't pronounce the whole word, it's so difficult, I don't, it's, it's a really, I can't even remember what it was, but I've been looking into ACAR actually for a little while because it has some unique properties. So I don't know if people are injecting it or if they're, if they're uh, consuming it in tablet form, I've never taken it myself, just a, a cautionary note, but I have read the literature extensively on it. Basically, ACAR is similar to metformin. What metformin does is it activates the AMP kinase pathway. Mm -hmm. The AMP kinase pathway is activated in your body when you're in a, star a, a starvation or a low nutrient. It's a nutrient sensing pathway. When AMP, so how AMP kinase turns on generally is when AMP is increased in proportion to ATP, which is this famous energy molecule. So when the ratio of AMP and ATP goes up, AMP kinase is turned on. Your body, it's a mm -hmm. nutrient sensing pathway. It senses your body is low on nutrients. It turns on AMP kinase. AMP kinase does a plethora of things in the body, including making your body uh, uh, burn more fat, um, uh, trend, uh, you know, burn more, burn, burn more glucose in the muscle, send more glucose in the muscle, it changes the way the, the liver functions, it does a lot of things in the body. So that's why I take metformin, she takes metformin also, and we've been taking metformin for a very long time. The problem with metformin is that metformin reduces mitochondrial, it affects the, the function of mitochondria and reduces the respiratory chain, the first respiratory chain of the mitochondria. So the effect of this well, I, get the, I guess there are two effects of, of uh, metformin. One is that, and the other one is also it causes an increase in lactic acid buildup. Which may, which, so both of these things, the first one, the mitochondrial effect, reduces the benefits you get from exercise slightly. There mm -hmm. have been some studies that have shown that. It's very popularly discussed in longevity communities. And so some people have been turned off metformin because of that. Because basically it shows that, if you basically it implies that if you don't exercise, metformin is extremely helpful for you. But if you do exercise, with like extreme cardiovascular exercise, it may blunt the cardiovascular exercise effects on the body because of this inhibition of mitochondrial respiratory mm -hmm. chain one. However, and then there's the lactic acid, uh, lactic acid buildup, which reduces your um, strength in the gym, as well as the amount of, amount of reps you can do mainly. So there's, those are the issues with metformin. ACAR does not cause this mitochondrial issue. It works through a separate mechanism. ACAR actually, uh, it's naturally found in the body and it's, it's, it simulates AMPK in the body. So your body recognizes it similar to AMP, uh, sorry, it simulates AMP. I see. So it, your body recognizes it like AMP and thinks that the ratio of AMP and, uh, to ATP has risen. So because of that, it turns on the AMP kinase pathway. But, and, and so it doesn't affect the mitochondria in the same way that metformin does. But in addition to that, it also has AMP kinase independent effects. So mm -hmm. um, particularly if I'm uh, recalling, it has, it turns on NRF2, which is a uh, antioxidant uh, regulatory gene pathway in the body, independent of AMP kinase. And it also turns off some of the inflammatory uh, cytokines like IL, uh, maybe IL-1 beta, for sure IL-6, IL as well as the NF-kappa B uh, pathway, which is a pro-inflammatory pathway in the body, independent of AMP kinase. So it has at least those two effects independent of AMP kinase. Also, it has been shown to be cytotoxic to leukemia, I remember leukemia uh, cancers, independent of AMP kinase. Now it is also, toxic to other cancers, but through the AMP kinase pathway. 
when when the AMP kinase pathway is turned on, mTOR goes off. So it affects cancers in general. Yeah. But there are at least three effects that are independent of AMP kinase that have to do with ACAR, which is really interesting. Um, so ACAR reduces inflammatory uh, cytokines in the body. It uh, improves. Uh, it reduces inflammatory cytokines, particularly from uh, from uh, high fat diets and rodents. So it reduces it from palmitic acid, for example, saturated fats, which are pro-inflammatory. Saturated fats actually cause inflammation in the brain. So do monounsaturated fats, only polyunsaturated fats don't. I've mentioned this before. So it reduces that. It also reduces the inflammatory response from lipopolysaccharides, which are uh, released by our microbiome and sometimes mm -hmm. enter our bloodstream or go through the, they affect the vagal nerve and therefore affect their inflammatory response in the body. So it has this effect. It has antioxidant effect. It uh, improves uh, glucose uptake. It does everything that metformin does, basically. Okay. It improves glucose uptake to the to the muscles. It reduces uh, uh, glucose uh, production from from cons consuming carbs in the liver. It increases fat oxidation in the liver, so therefore it would reduce hypothetically uh, fatty liver mm -hmm. as well. Um, so it has basically you can think of all the effects of metformin. Uh, in addition, it has a couple of other effects. Now, what are the drawbacks to this? The drawbacks are it has a very short half-life compared to metformin. So metformin, if you take it, it lasts a couple of days with you. I don't know the exact half-life in humans of ACAR. I've looked into it before and couldn't find any research on it. Maybe I wasn't looking into it enough. Maybe I should look into it more. I will if I buy it, which I'm thinking of doing. But um, it definitely has a shorter half-life because I recall that there are studies uh, trying to develop uh, new molecular versions that have a similar effect of ACAR mm -hmm. with a longer half-life and with better blood-brain barrier permeability because it doesn't cross the blood-brain barrier much. Um, although there are studies that show that it has a neuroprotective effect, although those studies show, interestingly, that the neuroprotective effect, which occurs in not just neuroprotective, but it proliferates neurons in the brain, in rodents decreases after two weeks, after 14 days. Not decreases, it reverses. So if you use it continuously for 14 days, the effect on the rodents goes away on the brain, while the effect from exercise continues, because the brain has mm -hmm. these effects on the brain as well. I mean, the brain. The, the mm -hmm. exercise has these effects on rodents' brains as well. So basically my impression of ACAR is, first of all, uh, it's not like, it, it, I, I know that these websites that carry the SARMs and stuff like that uh, carry ACAR. I don't know why they picked ACAR out of all things. There's many other things that they could be carrying. ACAR would more be used by people who care about their health or longevity. It's not going to cause you to lose fat rapidly. That's not going to happen. Mm -hmm. Metformin was thought to do a similar thing. It doesn't do that. It causes people to lose like one pound a year or something like that. It doesn't have a huge effect on it. And metformin is more long lasting and probably stronger than this. Um, also, what by is the, ACAR used for? It's not used for anything. It's not prescribed okay. for anything. It was just in development and then mm -hmm. they stopped developing it. I'm not sure why, uh, but it's not being used for anything pharmaceutically. But ACAR also, I didn't mention, has a low, uh, or a low bioavailability when taken orally. So that's why I was curious if people were injecting it or not. But so the point is, if you're interested in your health, it really seems to be an interesting molecule. There don't seem to be any downsides to it except for the lactic acid potentially, which is small, and it's it's a short-term thing, right? As well as an, a potential increase in uric acid levels, which may also happen with metformin. But it, the advantage, I think, of this over metformin is that you can use it. So, for example, say you're a bodybuilder or someone who's actively raising mTOR. So you can't take too many days off to take metformin. Metformin would take about two days off your mTOR results. Mm -hmm. So you could use this repeated administration for a couple of days and you take those days off. Or for example, say you're taking two days off to fast, but you're, it'll take a while for your body to get into this nutrient sensing AMP kinase pathway. You can use this or metformin to mm -hmm. speed that up. So it's, it's very attractive. Personally, I'm interested in using it. And it's, it's really attractive because of that mitochondrial effect too. So this will probably reduce your uh, benefits from exercise less than metformin mm -hmm. would. So it's a very attractive molecule. I'm glad he asked this question. And he didn't ask it on the Q&As. So he should ask it on the Q&As next time. But I saw it on another page and I thought we should include it for sure. So do look into ACAR. By the way, if you guys have used ACAR, 
let me know in the comment section below how your experience went. I've never used it personally. I want to know if people are injecting it or if they're uh, consuming it uh, in oral form as well as how much you guys are using and if you've noticed any effects. And the final thing is about its comparison to cardarine. Cardarine is a, is a totally different animal. It, cardarine is dealing with the PPAR complexes. It's increasing. It's not fully understood how it works. I've made a video on cardarine before. You can check it out. It is not affecting AMP kinase directly. It will not have these benefits on uh, on mTOR and you know I also didn't mention that this this uh, ACAR has been shown to so see obese people and obese rodents also mm -hmm. have an uh, upregulation of mTOR1 which is the mTOR complex one all the time so ACAR on its own reduces that and normalizes it to a non-obese rodent model so uh, cardarine would never do any of these things the downside to cardarine is that it's been shown to be uh, to increase tumors in rodents and PPAR as a complex is very complicated. All the PPAR agonist drugs of all the of the, all the PPARs, alpha, beta, and gamma, all have certain side effects that are concerning because I think PPAR is such a, a big, uh, you mm -hmm. know, a big uh, complex biological uh, mechanism in the body. Yeah. But so basically, think of this as an anti-inflammatory. It's a it's a uh, pro-fat oxidation. Uh, in, by the way, I didn't mention it, it improves insulin sensitivity uh, dramatically, but obviously all the effects of metformin, but also has anti-inflammatory effects, antioxidant effects. It is short acting. It is not very uh, orally bioavailable. Um, and that's what you should know about it. It's more if you're interested in your health or, or limiting the effects that you're having, the side effects from, uh, from being, uh, having your mTOR always on, maybe growing cancers, you know, damaging your body in that kind of way. This is an attractive molecule. Thank you for your question, guys. We'll see you next time.